Hi, so quickly I'm just going to show how you can use your displacement map in Arnold 5 using Maya 2018. So first things we need to do is we need to create a plane because uh, the material I want to make use of is going to be on a plane and once we have this the next thing I will possibly do is go to Arnold and and put a dome light so that we can actually see what we're going to render. Next thing I'll do is I'll select this and I'll go over to the hyper shade. Then uh, here in the hyper shade, what I want to get is I want to get the AI standard material. So I'll switch over to create and type AI. Actually in in Arnold 5. Here in Maya 2018, it's now called the AI standard surface. So I'm going to uh, get that here. I got these textures which I'm going to use from a guy called Sowada, and it's available on his art station. I'm going to put the link here. So I'm going to drag the two files here. One of them is a displacement map, and one of them is a diffuse map. So the diffuse map, I'm going to take the out color and plug it directly into the base color. And I'm going to drag this other one, which is the diffuse map, um, the, dis the displacement map, sorry, right into the displacement shader. And that's pretty much it. The next thing we're going to do is we need to assign this texture to this plane, which we have here. So if I turn this uh, material on, we can see it. I'm going to close the hyper shade so that we can have more room to uh, fix the other settings up. So the next possible settings which we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the attribute editor, go to my P plane shape one, come down to Arnold. Then here in Arnold, I will scroll down to here where I have subdivision and I'll switch the subdivision to cut clock and increase the subdivision level say maybe five that should do and also the next thing i'll do is i'll come over to displacement and i'll turn the displacement down to say something like uh, 0 0.03 which should be okay for us and i'll also turn auto bump up and i think if uh, my settings are correct the next thing we're going to see when we when we click on the render is this so actually, I think we should get a very clean render right now. Okay, that's it. That's pretty it. Depending on what you want to go for, if you want to add more height to this, you can actually increase the height here. So let's say we make this 0 0.1. And we're going to see that the height is going to increase a little bit more than what we have now. So let's see that as well. Okay, and yeah, if we put this in the bucket and we can also see, let me get a bit closer. Okay, now uh, we have a very, we have a very deep cut here. So depending on what you're going for, if you need to have more displacement, you can increase it. But if you need to have a very, very low displacement, say 2, or maybe I could just go for uh, 1.5, I mean 0 0.015, and if I render this, this is the result I am going to get. So we can compare the both of them and see if it fits into what our project is. And that's pretty much how you can use the displacement in Arnold 5 using Maya. 2018. You can also apply this technique in previous versions of Maya as well. So like this video if you like it, share this video if you want someone else to see what you've just seen and don't forget to subscribe because there is more.